What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today's gonna be a little bit of a different video for Diablo 4. Uh, recently on my streams, as well as a lot of comments that I've seen on YouTube videos, as well as just on social media, as far as Twitter and everything, is a lot of people are getting upset about how all of the creators and everybody, including myself, are making all of these videos and guides and <clears throat> stuff, you know, relating to Diablo, to Diablo 4 and then all of this news. So, uh, and they've just been complaining about like claiming that we're, we're telling them exactly how to play the game when it's a brand new game. And we're all excited that we've been waiting for this and they just want to experience the game for themselves and not have to see any spoilers and all these things. So I'm here to kind of address that because I've had some people, even in my community that don't necessarily want spoilers and they just want to enjoy the game organically <clears throat> and kind of just do those things. So I'm here to address that and just say, disclaimer play however you want period now let's get into a few of these things so the reason that this this video i'm doing today is because everybody's just kind of been knocking diablo 4 and there's just so much hate on it recently as well as creators creating all of this different content for it um whether it's the data mine stuff whether it's just guides or like what world tier difficulties to play on or strategies to level up your characters or certain builds to play all of these things right so when it comes to all that as creators we are just you know putting information out there for people it's kind of just you know like it is it's a guide right it's a guide to kind of you know lead you along the path it's not something that is just determined right it's just you know in, you know information that we have for you okay now when it comes to the information that we do have about diablo 4 a lot of it is information that's really been you know revealed from the devs or like actual information from blizzard itself you know or other reliable sources i think me personally like a lot of the data mine stuff whether it's true or not you have to take that with a grain of salt it is just data mining it's not something that's just 100 true because there was things that were quote unquote data mined and we didn't get them in the server slam even though they were data mined and said that these changes were going to happen in server slam so <clears throat> stuff like that or leaks you know you really got to take those with a grain of salt you know although they can be exciting and just kind of like a wow factor as far as like oh man you know twisting blades is like incredibly nerfed now it's unusable you know but then service land comes around and like no well twisting blades is still super strong so you know you got to just kind of take those things with a grain of salt when it comes to that so i don't want to say it's like a lot of misinformation but it's just kind of like a lot of what if information and people get really caught up on that now the next thing is is with all of this information guys a lot of it even though there unless it's been released like released from the devs or it's from blizzard <clears throat> or whoever you just you just gotta like just block it's almost like a trailer for a movie right like you don't want to see the trailer you don't want spoilers those kinds of things all right now i will say i can't you know i can't be on your side forever i do want to say that like if you are someone who wants to experience the game completely organically and just know nothing then you shouldn't be on youtube looking at videos you shouldn't be watching any streamers you shouldn't be you know you should block everything diablo 4 related on social media especially twitter so i mean if you want to be in the dark then by all means be in the dark so but there's only a certain caveat to that i mean you can't you can't like go to the movies and you know want to see this see this movie and have all these high expectations but you've seen five trailers so you're disappointed before you even watch the movie you know uh it's one thing to like go in and just don't know a single thing and then make form your own opinion but you know it's it's another thing to to see all these trailers look up all this information how things work and mechanics and all this stuff and then just be like well i hate that all these people are putting this out there so uh, i'm playing a little devil devil's advocate here so don't destroy me in the comments but uh, but the last thing that I want to bring to this is because no one is telling you how to play. Okay, no one. You need to play Diablo 4 however you want to play. If you want to have fun, play it for fun. If you want to spend, you know, 30 hours being at level 10 and not going to level 11, by all means, do that. If you, if you want to just stay in the first area and, you know, kill... The, the deer and stuff for resources by all means do that play diablo 4 however you want the open world concept for diablo 4 and all of the various things that you can do whether it's pvp dungeons world events 
world bosses. You know, you got, I mean, there's just so much you can do inside of Diablo 4. So by all means, play however you want, okay? Do that, that's what you need to do. Play whatever classes you want, period, end of story. I don't think that any creators are going out of their way to tell you specifically how to play. Now, with that said, you do need to take a great, you know, you like you got to back up and just look at what the subject matter is on videos. For example, there's been a lot of controversy going around between playing on World Tier 1 or 2. A lot of these videos are based on getting through the game the fastest. Now, when you think about this, it has to be from the mindset of, I want to get through the game the fastest. So if you put yourself as that is your mindset, then that's the video for you. If you're going to watch a video like that and then go, well, I only like to have fun to play <clears throat> Diablo at level 10 for 30 hours. Well, then why are you watching a world tier video that determines whether which you're going to get through the fastest in the story? You know, it's it's I've always brought up this analogy with stuff like this. If in World of Warcraft, if your only measure of fun is to mine ore that's it that's all you want to do well which is more fun if mining ore is the only thing you have fun with is it mining 10 ore an hour or 100 ore an hour well if you only like having fun mining ore then mining 100 ore an hour is probably the funnest right so i think people put in their own perceptions of those things when they watch youtube videos and stuff and and i don't want to don't want to take it away and and not tell you to have an opinion but i think you just really have to grasp the subject matter and just kind of separate yourself in those things because if you're watching a video that determines how long or which world tier is the fastest to get through the story that's what it's about it's not about your personal way to have fun it's about if you want to get through the story the fastest which difficulty do you play on so you just you just got to separate those two things so, but in the end, guys, you need to play however you want. I really, really don't like seeing all this hate when it comes to creators or Diablo for the game itself or devs when we've only had a couple betas. We have very limited information about the game and even how things are working. Uh, so it's, you just really need to keep an open mind about things. And again, you need to play the game however you want. But if you don't want to know certain things, then don't look them up. That's all I'm going to say about that. By all means, please, guys, just play the game however you want and just enjoy Diablo 4 for what it is. It's going to be an amazing game, and I really think that we're all going to enjoy it in our own ways. And then once the game releases, there's going to be all these guides and stuff out. So please, guys, just enjoy the game. Have fun. You know, good luck. Have fun. Be nice. Be kind to everybody. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed today's like little little chat, I really wanted to, to speak on both halves. Like the video. If you guys have anything you want to start in a conversation, make sure it's all constructive. Uh, you know, no hate stuff down in the comments. Make sure it's constructive, and uh, then we can open up a conversation. But yeah, guys, as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.